Hey guys, it's Holly here for Access PlayStation. I have finally caught up with Mark Sony, a man I've been desperate to interview ever since the announcement of PlayStation 4. A man who's worked on games like Crash Bandicoot, lead system architect on the PlayStation 4, and of course, looking after Knack, which is the game I'm desperate to talk about. So for anyone who hasn't really seen it yet, because we haven't talked a lot about the story, can you give us a very brief uh, history? So, um, you know, the game itself, we're, we're trying to make sort of a mashup between a Pixar-style family film and a character action game based around the very unique character of Knack. So and the storyline um, really focuses on the doctor who created Knack and the 15-year-old the, uh, assistant of the doctor who in many ways is Knack's best friend. And sort of the, the tensions between the doctor and the assistant. The assistant, um, terribly clever, competent, and extremely underappreciated as well. So uh, now, Knack, we've, we've been playing it. Uh, we played it on normal, and it was quite difficult. But this is a game for everyone. This isn't a kid's game. This is a game for everyone. How have you made it like that? Well, we took a very different approach with the design. So Crash Bandicoot, for example, uh, we'd lay out levels, and there'd be 50 jumps in a row you had to make, or you couldn't get through the level. And that's clearly not something that anybody can do. So you know, we have platforming, but we've de-emphasized jumps within that context. Or, or for enemies, um, we're very careful um, to set up the enemies in such a way that we can make it very hard with maybe a quarter second window where you can attack that enemy for when it's on difficult. And at the same time, if you're just picking up a DualShock controller for the first time, you may need three seconds of the enemy just standing there uh, for you to get in close enough to take it down. Now this is a PlayStation 4 game. Now I've heard this could only be made on the PlayStation 4. Do you want to talk about development of Knack and why? Why this game had to be next generation? Well, I mean, the, the very next generation element of Knack is the, um, the 5,000 part physics simulation that drives the character. Knack has an ability, you could say it's his Knack, um, to grow and transform. And the way he does that is he picks up the parts from the environment and he incorporates them into his body. So he'll grow from being a three foot tall sort of mascot style character that maybe has only 60 parts that he's made out of. Uh, up to, um, he can be a 30-foot rampaging monster. In that case, it's about 5,000 parts in his body. It has a very sort of Transformers, the movie, feel to it. And driving all of that is something that was definitely a lot easier to do on PlayStation 4. Now, you showed us co-op today. Now, do you want to talk a little bit about co-op and how this is a mode that everyone can get involved with? So co-op, um, we're um, just putting that in now. I think we'll have it in for launch. It's sort of a bonus feature. It's, it's not um, sort of couch co-op that you'd normally have where you, you very seriously intend to go through the game as, as a pair of people. It's much more about within a family, you can drop in any time and play a bit. So parents with children, um, you know, if you have a seven-year-old child, uh, you can drop in and assist them. The second character is sort of a helper character in that sense. If you have a five-year-old kid, you can just hand them the second joystick. There's nothing they can do that's going to hurt Knack. So, um, you know, the gameplay is, the progress is gated on what Knack does. So there's a real uh, family feeling there to the game. Now finally, we're seeing a, a push for, I want to say shooters we've never seen kind of before in this industry, but Knack stands apart from that. You know, it's leading the way on a new platform, but doesn't conform to the, the shooty shooty games we've been seeing. Uh, how does that make you feel that we've seen this industry move towards that and trying to bring it back with Knack? Well, in general, PlayStation's had incredible variety. I mean, if you look at PlayStation 1, uh, Crash Bandicoot was the top selling brand, Cra uh, Parappa the Rapper, or uh, uh, IQ, Intelligent Cube, there's this huge variety of the games. It is true on PlayStation 3, it's gotten a bit more core. You know, that's a very natural thing, of course, because the players have grown up and they're continuing to play all of those games. Now, I'm just hoping with, with PlayStation 4 to bring a little bit of that family feeling into the platform from launch. That's amazing. I can't thank you enough for your time. Uh, I've desperate to interview you ever since uh, I started at PlayStation. So there we go, guys. Um, we have loads more videos coming from Gamescom. Don't forget to tune in, tune in to the Access YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash PlayStation Access. <laughs> <laughs>